What if I told you that this is not a laptop and this is not a phone? All right, maybe this Samsung Z Fold 6 is actually a phone, but both of these devices can do so much, it's hard to classify them in one category. This is the Uperfect UDoc X Pro 15 inch. It might not be a laptop, but it can definitely work with all your devices, including your existing laptop and computer. The UDoc X Pro features a 10 point touchscreen, a built in trackpad that is capable of using gestures on whatever device you're connected to, and even a wireless charger for your phone. Being so compatible with many devices, it has a USB C port that is capable of data transfer and displaying video from your device. Then it has a micro HDMI port as well for connecting more devices. On the other side, you got a USB A port which is capable of data transfer as well, a micro SD card slot, and a headphone jack. In addition to its big 15.6 inch 120Hz display, it also has built in speakers and a big battery to make sure that every time you use this device, you have everything you need. So I've been using the Uperfect UDoc X Pro for around two to three weeks now, and it's actually been a pretty good experience for me. I've used it for Samsung DeX with my Z Fold 5 pretty frequently because of the wireless capability. The fact that I can connect my phone without having to go find a cable or maneuver a cable every time I want to get up is amazing. I do prefer the smoothness of when it's connected with the wire, but the ease of wirelessly connecting is just super convenient. I've also used the UDoc with my Lenovo Legion Go when I want a laptop form factor. Having the flexibility at the tip of my finger has been great, especially with the huge, vibrant, high quality screen. The last way that I've used the UDoc X Pro was with my Nintendo Switch. Last week, there was a huge power outage in my city that lasted for like seven hours and the UDoc came clutch because it has its own battery and it can even charge other devices like your phone. Because of its utility, my family and I were able to play our Nintendo Switch on the 15 inch screen, despite having no power in our building. The flexibility of this device is definitely my favorite thing about it. You can use it as a laptop, an external monitor, a secondary monitor, and even a tablet if you can handle its weight. In terms of battery life, I haven't used it more than a few hours at a time, but based on the percentages I've seen while using it, I would roughly estimate four to seven hours, depending on how you use it and depending on whether it's connected wirelessly or wired. These numbers are just estimations based on my usage. So what you experience might be completely different. Using this device is pretty easy. All you need to do is just turn it on and then you can connect it either wirelessly to many different devices or connect it with USB-C or HDMI. So I'm gonna plug in my Legion Go right here with USB-C and you'll see that it's as simple as that. There you go, the Legion Go is connected. And this thing looks like a Nintendo Switch to the people who don't know what it is, but it's actually a handheld PC. So it's a full computer, just like your Windows laptop or your Windows desktop, and even a Mac. This is a full-fledged computer right here and it's connected to the UDoc right now. Basically this thing right here that was just a screen, a keyboard, and a trackpad now became a laptop. So I have all my normal gestures for Windows. I can tap with two fingers to right click. I can tap and hold to highlight things. I can use my keyboard controls like Alt Tab to switch between windows that are open. And then it's touchscreen, so it also interacts with windows very well. Zoom in and out, double tap to expand things, swipe up to see the taskbar. So this is just a very quick example of how easy it is to start using this laptop with a computer or a handheld PC like the Legion Go. You literally just plug it in and then you're ready to go. You can use it as much as you want. And the fact that it has a built-in battery, both of these devices are portable. This whole setup can be moved wherever you want. It's very modular and very portable. One thing to note though is that the UDoc does not output enough power to actually charge a handheld PC like this and maybe most laptops. So you do need to carry your power supply for those devices to keep the session going. But this can definitely power other devices as we'll see later on in this video. You can also wirelessly display your Windows PC or laptop on this screen right here. Just make sure you go in settings and then go to optional features and add wireless display. So as you can see, it's downloading from my Legion Go right here. So after you add that to your Windows PC or laptop, if it doesn't have it, then you can just go to add a Bluetooth device, choose wireless display, press connect to Flipbook and it should disconnect now. So boom, the Uperfect dock is now wirelessly connected to my Legion Go right here. So now I basically have a portable laptop with no cords attached using my full 
Windows PC right here. The only thing that you might come across is when you're connecting to this lap dock here wirelessly, you need to connect the keyboard and the trackpad through Bluetooth. So it shows you the instructions when you're not connected to anything else to do that. You basically just go in your Bluetooth settings and search for the keyboard and then you should add it to your device and then you'll be able to use your trackpad and keyboard as normal. All right, so do you remember when I said that this is not a phone? Basically what I meant by that is that Samsung has this software feature called Samsung DeX where when you connect one of their flagship phones to a display, it displays a computer-like interface. So if I take this cable right here and connect it to the UDoc, Samsung Lex will start up and then boom, now you have a laptop-like interface or a computer-like interface where you can literally do like almost anything that you would on a laptop. If you don't need Windows or Mac specific programs, you can get a lot done all from your phone. So the phone is literally powering this device right now. Trackpad works, you can do gestures like, like two fingers to swipe up and down. You can consume media so you can watch videos, movies, and then you also have your shortcuts. So Alt Tab also works here. And then in Samsung Dex, it's very intuitive. You can drag and drop things to each side. So you can adjust the size of each app from the middle like that. You can drag those apps to the top corners to have a layout like this, where it's like four apps on the screen. But you can also have unlimited windows open if you wanted to. So Samsung Dex is not limited to a certain amount of apps open. You can literally open any app on your phone. And then the cool thing about Samsung Dex is that you can still use your phone normally while it's connected to this screen. The software that is on the UDoc is from my phone, but then I can still use my phone as I would normally, which is really cool. And if you wanted to, you can open it up to the big screen and then you can have a little stand and use this big screen as a second display. So a cool feature with Samsung Dex is that you can flow the mouse pointer across both of these screens. So the UDoc screen and the cell phone screen itself. And you can also choose like which side the monitor is on. So like this, the monitor is on the right of the phone. So now that's on. And as you can see, the mouse pointer is over here because I moved it across the screens. And then some other cool things about it is it's literally charging my phone right now too. So this thing is powered. It doesn't need to be plugged in anywhere because it has its own battery. Again, you can connect your Samsung device wirelessly to the UDoc without using the cable. Wireless connection will be a little bit slower. It'll run at 30 hertz instead of 60 hertz refresh rate. But wirelessly, you can still get work done. You can still type up a document. You can still interact with it, browse the internet, watch videos just as you would normally. It's just going to feel a little bit delayed. But the delay is not so bad where you can't do those things comfortably, in my opinion, or like get through quick sessions. And then Samsung Dex with the UDoc is also perfect for like creative things. So let's say you video edit. I can literally edit videos as if it was like a laptop, you know, and how smooth it is depends on the program you're using, the app you're using and the power of your phone. The Z Fold 6 is decently powerful. So video editing on this external screen is actually pretty doable and is a real workflow that some people have out there. Just to show you a little further of what you can do with this UDoc lap dock, you can also use it for your desktop computers. Like for example, my Mac mini right here. This is an M2 Mac mini. I can connect my UDoc as an external screen or the only screen that I use for it. So I don't need to use my monitors. Essentially, you can turn your desktop PC or a Mac into a laptop. So I open this up and all I gotta do is connect this USB-C cable to the UDoc. The Mac should connect to it. And there you go. Keyboard Assistant has popped up on the screen because it's connected via USB-C. That means that the keyboard is recognized and then also the trackpad works. So as you can see, I'm controlling the mouse on my Mac mini with this trackpad here. And just to show you that everything works as normal. So if I go to Safari, go to YouTube, boom, boom, I'm scrolling just like I would with my regular trackpad here. There does seem to be a slight compatibility issue. So you can't zoom in or at least it's not working for me right here with pinch to zoom. However, you know, you can scroll definitely and use it for, you know, one tap to left click, then two fingers for a right click. It works pretty fine. But yeah, just to give you an example of this kind of use case, let's say you're traveling somewhere and you only have a Mac mini. For example, you can pack up your Mac mini. All it needs is the USB-C cable to connect to the UDoc and its power cord, and that's it. That's the only thing you need. So depending on the size of your bag, like let's say you're carrying a big backpack, this just slides into the laptop slot. The Mac mini doesn't take up that much space and the power cable is very small as well and you can literally have your home desktop set up going with you wherever you are with minimal effort. And then on top of that, you can still wirelessly charge your phone with this wireless charger built into the UDA. As you can see, it's working. You can also use this as a secondary monitor or a main monitor, and then your other screens as other displays for your Mac and PC. So even though you Perfect sent me this for free, I won't lie to you and tell you that this thing is perfect and it has no flaws or downsides. 
as somebody who uses mobile tech a lot and is interested in all these kinds of products i already have a nextlock 360 which is the same kind of product it's a laptop device that can connect to anything and it has a 360 hinge trackpad and all basically the same features in a smaller package so i already have experience with this kind of device and then i've used a lot of laptops tablets a lot of mobile devices over the years. With all that being said, there are some flaws that I gotta point out. The first is the price. This thing starts at $629.99 US, so that's a lot of money, especially for somebody in Canada like me. $630 US translates to around $830 Canadian dollars, so that's a lot of money to be spending on something like this. But to be fair, it is on sale right now for $409.99, but even at that price, I feel like it is pretty expensive because you can get a cheap laptop for around these prices especially 800 dollars or more in canada you can get a decent laptop and then in combination with the price tag the fact that you can get a cheaper laptop that is just as big and also lighter than it kind of makes it hard to recommend this for a lot of people out there this is a samsung galaxy book it has a core i5 so it doesn't have the best specs but it's pretty decent for everyday tasks and even some very light gaming this is a 15 inch display it has a bunch of different peripherals hdmi port usb-c ports usb-a port on the other side, you got more, another USB-A port, a headphone jack. So you have a lot with this cheap laptop that you can get here in Canada. And it has even a full keyboard with the number row as well. And just to give you a little bit more perspective, I'm going to weigh the U-Dock and the laptop and then some other things. So this is the Samsung laptop right here. It is around 3 pounds and 7.1 ounces. The U-Dock is around 4 pounds, 4.5 ounces. So it is heavier than this full-fledged laptop that I have over here. This is the Next Dock 360. It is another laptop type device, but it's a 13 inch model. And that is two pounds, 13 ounces. And then what I'm gonna do is weigh a little combination of items. People who use these kind of phones, these foldable phones, they often have little portable setups that they might use, especially if they're considering a laptop. So we got a phone stand for it to sit on. Like let's say you're in a coffee shop, you're gonna set up your phone and stuff. Then you also got a little mouse, a folding keyboard, portable charger, 25 milliamps, a charger, like an actual charger to plug into the wall, two cables for both of those chargers, and then potentially you'll have an S Pen, in my case, the S Pen Pro. So what I've done is I put all those things in this bag and I'm gonna weigh all those things together plus the phone to see how much all these things weigh in combination. Like if you're carrying these things on your person versus just carrying a laptop and like maybe a cord or something. So put these things plus the phone and that is around three pounds and 0.2 ounces. Even all these things you saw how much I put into this bag, all these things right here are lighter than the U-Dock itself. So I'm not knocking the U-Dock. The build quality is really good. It's very sturdy. I'm not scared that this thing is going to break. It's a solid design and it gives me confidence compared to the next Doc 360 that I have. That is pretty flimsy, especially the hinge. The U-Dox hinge, it sits pretty well at any angle and it wobbles when you're moving it. But when you're actually using it, it doesn't move that much. So this is a very solid design. The build quality is good. All the ports are nice and good. So the build quality is really good. I'm not knocking this device, but if you're buying something like this, you gotta be aware of the weight and how that's gonna impact you. So in terms of a portable workspace, this will definitely get the job done. It's more than capable, has all the features, has everything you would want in a device like this, but you gotta consider that weight and the size. And then the other downside, the other flaw that I could point out for this device is this trackpad. It works, it's very functional, you know, it's usable, it works. But personally, the trackpad being on the right side, I can't get used to that, it's pretty weird to me. I've never experienced a laptop with the trackpad on the right side. So that's just like a preference thing. I don't like where it is placed, but aside from where it's placed and actually functioning, I don't like the way that it feels. The texture of it feels like pretty low quality. It doesn't feel like, you know, like an actual trackpad, like for example, on the Samsung Galaxy book that I showed you. And then I'm coming from, you know, editing on my Mac mini. I have a official magic trackpad and that feels nice too. So, and I know like making a device like this, you're, there's so many components, you gotta fit things in. And you know, you can't always give the best of the best for everything, but I would have hoped for a better trackpad in this. I feel like it would be nice to, you know, just have a better feeling trackpad. So the placement and then how it feels, but functionality, like I don't have any issues using it. Like it actually works pretty well, pretty reliably. And the fact that it's on the right side means that you're not gonna accidentally swipe the trackpad by accident. 
because I'm pretty sure this probably doesn't have palm rejection. It's kind of a smart idea to put it on the right side if you're not going to include palm rejection. The reason why I bring up palm rejection as well is because a lot of these lap docks, like the next dock 360 that I have, they have these cheap track pads. And then when you're using them, there's no palm rejection. So sometimes you move the mouse by accident and you do things on your screen. So if you're going to go with a cheap track pad, then I guess it makes sense to put it off to the side so that there's no room for that kind of mistake or error. Overall, this laptop has a high quality build to it compared to my next stock 360. The ports seem solid, the frame doesn't flex or bend, and the hinges feel sturdy enough to sit at almost any angle. This might just be the highest end lap dock that you can get right now. You Perfect did send me this device for free, but they had no control over what I said in this video. This is a genuine review of this device and all my thoughts and opinions. That is all for now. Let me know what you think of this device and if you would buy something like this. And if you would want to see more videos on the UPerfect UDoc X Pro, let me know in the comments below. We out. Peace.